is that people are sitting up here telling themselves well, you don't have to build anything. And that's the lie that old niggas tell you. <sighs> hey, what if I need more light? Hey, I love this. Modern technology, how you do this. Here we go. Ready? Uh oh. Didn't work? I got it upside down. Can I tell you? Well. Smoothly. Oh, that was, you know, Jason Black Black, you know, you figure it out. Mm. Okay, I'm ready to treat today. I'm gonna tell you what's in my smoothie. I have banana. Banana. But I, I put bananas here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the freezer. You know, freezer, banana, freezer. Right. Cherries. And I, you know, I cut the, you know, I cut them each one them to get the, the pit out, right? Well, it's very important when you do these things that you use your, use your hands, you know, that you use yourself because you're putting love into what you're doing. You're putting your own love into things. Blueberries. Um, did I say kiwi fruit? Kiwi fruit, I can see. Right. A little bit of maple syrup. Uh, oh, uh, I stayed with my fraternity brother, but he's uh, close friends with uh, Dr. Marimba. And uh, and she leaves a lot of this stuff. She comes back once a year, so do some stuff. One of the things he leaves. You know, brought Dr. Marimba, I mean. I told you before, I told you about that. But here's one of the things she left. The Kanai Sunrise, right? Never heard of this thing. But it's got, what has it got in here? The great tasting, nutrient, and um, vitamin rich antioxidant powerhouse based on wild Alaskan blueberry and other super fruits. Well, so I'm, hey, Dr. Nate, Professor. Thanks. <laughs> Um, I took you blueberry, and now I'm on this less. I'm gonna be using this. This is a uh, made with real organic whole milk, unsweetened organic milk. You know, grass, whatever the heck it is. The corn, uh, uh, no corn, no corn, uh, no grain, just grass. But I'm not gonna. I just got this from. They got a Whole Foods here in Harlem now. But I think I'm gonna go back either the goat's milk or I'll use the. Um, uh, uh, almond milk. I don't want to use oat milk. Anyway, just some there. But that's not what we're going to talk about. Hey, hey, look, got a new hat. Pen scroll. <laughs> Let me get this thing here. Because my fraternity had the annual picnic, so I showed up. <laughs> me and uh, Dr. Kanye show up. I'm going to show you something here. And uh, I, I, I stay at his place when I'm here in, in uh, you know, New York. Why? He my fraternity brother. He ain't got no choice. <laughs> oh, your support systems, you know. So because I'm an outlier's outlier, in other words, I ain't got no 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 monies, you know. But like my my sister got the thing, and I'm like, man, I not crash. I crash at people's places because when I'm in South Africa, I live low to the ground. But I want to show y'all something. This is a uh, most important to me. And where I stay, oh. This is in here. By the way, look at him, so adorable. That's not about six years old, I think. Look at him. Five, ten. Uh, but here's what I wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see this. This is a picture. Because I was at my sister's house to get all the pictures. Now, right over here is Aunt Gertie, and that's my grandmother, the sisters. You know, from the gullet, people. see if I can get close enough for y'all can see. Don't matter. Just say, trust me, she's there. But Aunt Gertie, see, because where I live, right, where I'm right, in right now, I'm right about uh, Aunt Gertrude, you know. Um, I'm right across from where I'm, I'm at Marcus Garvey Park, which they still want to reclaim it to Mount Morris Park. But anyway, I'm, I'm, she used to live right across the way at 120, in 123rd by, and I used to visit her all the time. This is very interesting because listening to, to, to you know Professor Black, or Black Authority, whoever it is, Jason Black, um, it just came to me. I just remembered this thing. But when I would visit her, what was really interesting is because she's an older, older Black woman, 
And um, you know, I wouldn't meet her. We just visited her because you know she's old. She lived in she lived in those. It's like a a room. She just had a room, a little kitchen stove thing, a bed right there, almost like a sitting area. That's really just one room and had a common toilet. She's an old lady. So this is like Harlem back in the day. But it's weird because I visited them when I was leaving. She would always like slip me like three dollars or something like that. And I'm going like. I, I, I just could, you can't say anything. You have to sort of take it, you have to accept it, right? And it was like weird to me, you know. But then I realized, the older people, what happens when, when you know, they do that. That's what they do, you know. If if you're if you're, that's what they do, you know. And we've lost a whole lot of stuff in our tradition. But uh, this brought to me when we say, if you're, if you if you're older, if your mom or whatever have you, it's not. So can, you have to, can you, I don't know, forget that stuff. That's not what I want to talk about. Is it not what I want to talk about? Um, but yeah, I want to talk about that. That's it. Our society right now, our older people, I'm saying older people, um, because he's talking about Elijah Cummins. When um, Ocasio-Cortez first defeated the, um, um, the Crowley guy, right, and they kept on saying the third, the third most powerful whatever, Democrat, whatever it is, I immediately said, well, who's the second? And I knew the answer. Who's the second? Who's the second? And I was thinking, I was thinking. I said, how come they didn't say about the second most powerful? Why are they not saying about the second most powerful? It goes from Nancy Pelosi the first until this Crowley. They make a big deal. They just skipped over the second one. I'm not going to tell you the second one was. Well, you know now. And then we start, then we start looking at all our politicians, the old ones that have been there, you know, the, 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 the Maxine Ward has been there for years. And what are, what are they doing? Like you know, the second most powerful one. He he don't take his vacations in his district in North Carolina. He takes his vacations, you know, in some golf course, you know, in California or something like that. This one, uh, 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 what we was reading about was Elijah Cummins talking about. Uh, he's in Baltimore, and it seemed like the the, the the Donald. I'm sorry, President Trump then said something about you know, yeah, you gotta clean up your old rat infested, you know, and they're going off on that. And, you know, you got you got black commentators crying on TV as. Anyway, so he was thinking our, our oldest, I want to say oldest because there's elders, then there's oldest. Our oldest have betrayed us. They have done everything to actively undermine us, whatever. I'm, I'm exploring this thing these days. And it's a shame because, you know, they're doing more for people that are not even citizens than their own kit and kin. Not all kin, not all, not, not all skin folk, ain't all my kin folk, as Ronnie Hurston. So the thing is, um, not what are we to do about this, but we're back, we're back at the Chimurunga, I'm saying we're at a Chimurunga stage. Chimurunga is just, they, they, it's supposed to be revolutionary struggle, but the, another meaning is the, the struggle from within. We really have to clear house. I mean, let's just say we got to clear house. All these cats got to go. I don't care about seniority, but they got to go, 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 go. If, if four young people can come in there and affect it, we need to, we need, we need the, the 28 <laughs> young black folk coming in there affecting things. You see what I'm saying? Let me know. Let me, I just wanted to make this short because I'm not doing a lot of, uh, I'm going to start doing interviews a lot. You're going to see, you're not going to see me. But man, I've been talking to some people who, man, heavy, heavy, heavy. So anyway, that's just a, pro a promise for me. T, from the Patterson taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality of the A-D-O-S. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.